I'm at the Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park in Vermont. And this is a really important site in the environmental history of the United States. This land once belonged to a man named George Perkins Marsh. Now, Marsh is probably not one of the more famous 19th century Americans, but he's an oddly important one. In 1864, he wrote a book called Man and Nature. And in that book, he laid out a very simple idea. If you go back to where you were a boy and look at the land, it's changed, it's different. And in many cases, it's worse. The land is changing. The climate is changing. Marsh was the first person to point that out. George Perkins Marsh's book, Man and Nature, published in 1864, inspired a lot of people. It was a surprisingly influential book. One person it inspired was a man named Billings. Billings actually bought Marsh's land when Marsh died and put his own farm here. This area behind me is called the Pogue. This is actually a man-made lake that Billings dug and installed this carriage trail all the way around it. But Billings also took Marsh's ideas and put them into practice. So Marsh said that when you remove all of the trees from an environment, deforest it, it degrades the environment. So Billings figured doing the reverse, planting trees, would improve the environment. And so that's what he did on the land formerly owned by Marsh. He set out on a mass reforestation campaign. And of course, as we could guess, it worked. The land was restored and the eco, well, they wouldn't have said ecosystem, but the local environment returned to health. And Billings was one of the first Americans to prove that proper care of forest can leave land healthier and of course, just more beautiful. Another person who would be inspired by this is a man named Gifford Pinchot, who would work closely with Theodore Roosevelt in the early 20th century and would found a lot of our national forests. So yeah, Marsh was very important. It got the ball rolling on what would evolve into the conservation movement and eventually the environmental movement in the 20th century. So the last stop is, this is the mansion on the property. It was originally the property of the Marsh family, and then later the Billings family, and then finally the Rockefeller family. And the Rockefellers in the 1990s donated it to the National Park Service and it is now a museum. Very cool inside. <laughs>